Good morning friends, I am Ajayadi Nandita Pandey back again with your weekly forecast for the week starting from 29 July to 4th of August. In this segment we are talking about uh, sun signs from Libra to Pisces. So do look into your sun signs, check up from your date of birth and uh, we will definitely um, uh, from your, uh, our next segment on the school let you know, you know which date to which date uh, certain sun sign falls in. So it's much easier for you but meanwhile you can look into that. We will start up with Libra. Uh, Libra generally are people who are born in the month of uh, October and let us see how you are going to do in this week. So when I take out cards for Libra and so let me see, so I see a lot of responsibilities coming in for you as far as your career zone is concerned, lot of happiness happening in that area and uh, growth patterns are also emerging up, you will be very protective about your juniors, your projects and even uh, the focus goes towards more of uh, family focus and uh, in terms of your relationship area you are being very possessive so don't be so possessive give some breathing space to your damage also when you do that then there will be you know more happiness more romance the kind of romance that you're expecting is, uh, to happen so for that to take place you have to release uh, the possessiveness that you you know or the feeling of holding on to a person so to just be easy and relaxed things will start working out for you Financially, how you would fare financially, it's an absolutely fantastic deal. A lot of growth happening. You could or you might hear of uh, appreciations or monetary gains or maybe, you know, you might even decide about shifting into a better place or maybe buying a new property. So these are the kind of ideas and thoughts which are uh, kind of seeping in into your environment because finances in general are going to grow a lot worse. Health-wise, how are you going to fare health-wise? And health-wise, I see patience, wisdom. That's the key factor and the more uh, patients you are, patient you are in terms of dealing with up with your health, the health should be absolutely good. I don't really see any problems in that area. Family matters, uh, how would that take place as far as family is concerned. So uh, family matters, you need to be a little more realistic in your approach because if you are not that practical and pragmatic, it might just boomerang back at you. So you just uh, have to be... Uh, kind of practical in what is the real stage uh, as far as the family is concerned and then take decisions. Don't just take the decision at whims and fancies that might just be too bad. So be careful on that area. Travel, how are you going to pair in your travel zone? So travel zone, I see good happenings in travel zone, happiness coming in on that area. Seventhly, the weekends are also quite good for you. You would be quite relaxed and relieved with the way things are progressing uh, by the time you reach your weekend. So this was for you Librals and let's go on to the next sun sign Scorpio. Scorpios are the people generally born in the month of November and let us see how you are going to fare in this week. So for Scorpios when I check out cards it says professionally a lot of things are improving though they are still on that uh, zone where it's like a tangential line where um, uh, not too much of a growth but not too bad either. And things are opening up for you, channels are opening up which are giving you results. Uh, financially, there are a lot of celebrations happening, good uh, things are happening, but again, uh, there are conditions where you should not think too, bad, too much about whatever is happening in your past or whatever happened or took place in your past. You need to be more futuristic in your approach. You have to make a lot of effort as far as love relationships are concerned, and if you make an effort, there will be quite a lot of romance and passion floating in for you, but efforts have to be made. So, this is what I see, and health wise, if I have to look into your health areas, health, I see good health happening. Uh, I don't really see problems in those zones, but uh, family matters. Again, there could be some ego clashes or stubborn uh, differences of opinions and uh, you know, you might not just see eye to eye with somebody close to you. And there are a lot of uh, energy drain out uh, scenario that I see as far as family is concerned. Uh, so you need to be a little more patient in that area. Avoid travels, travels are also not favorable for you in this week. And uh, there could be some legal glitches or legal catches as far as uh, travels are concerned. Just have to be very very careful. Keep a check on your documents and your paperwork uh, whenever you're traveling or are on a journey. Otherwise, uh, this might just hit you back. Weekends are pleasant. Um, most of the problems that you have faced so far during this week might slowly and subtly ease off by the time you reach your weekend. So this was for Scorpio, and now we move on to the next sun sign, Sagittarius. Generally, uh, Sagittarius are people born in the month of December. Let me see what you're going and how you are doing and what can be done for you. So Sagittarius, I see good growth happening as a lot of romantic relationships and new beginnings and happiness coming in. It can also be like you know announcement of a new family member, uh, some something like that. 
or generally they're being showered with a lot of attention and happiness. So this is the kind of environment that you're going to be in and the order that you are going to seep into in terms of your relationship area. Uh, that is uh, your matters of heart. And uh, when I look into your professional area, professionally things, uh, how things are going to be for Sagittarius, which is going to be absolutely fantastic, new growth patterns emerging. Somebody helping you out, somebody who has an excellent PR skill uh, might just come in the forefront and help you out. Or he, or, or he could be a banker because it's a male member that I see, he could be a banker or somebody who is financially in a comfortable position. And if he is your boss, just be too happy about it, you can take and seek his guidance because he would really help you out in this way. Financially, how are you going to fare, Sagittarians, and uh, financially, things, uh, as I said, are working for you. Health-wise, you're doing fine. Uh, I uh, don't see a problem at all, and a uh, lot of things, it's, they just be in your control, and you actually trying, you know, going through the process of reinventing yourself and doing a lot of new good things. That's the kind of uh, area that I see you, know, you uh, moving into. But in terms of your family, there could be a journey which might create a lot of uh, differences or there could be you know, the thought process separating out and you might not just be very comfortable with others' opinion or others' outlook towards life. Or uh, maybe if you've gone for a journey or you're planning a journey in this week, uh, this might just create some emotional anxieties with your family members. So that's the kind of pattern that I see you seeping into travels. Again, as I said, because there are differences floating in, uh, in any case are best avoided during this week because I would not suggest there are situations when suddenly you know a lot of confrontations might just come up or there could be situations when uh, or there could be some altercations which are not happy altercations in any case altercations are ne never happy but then I do see some setbacks as far as that area is concerned. A woman seems to be helping you out as the week comes to a close and she's somebody who is excellent in PR skills so she's the one who is uh, the life savior for you during this week and especially by the weekend. So this was for your Sagittarius. Let's go into Capricorn theme. How Capricorns are, uh, Capricornians are faring and Capricornians are the people who are generally born in the month of January. And let me see what you are undergoing during this week. I see a lot of subtle changes happening as far as your career is concerned. So it's like, you know, you learn from your experiences, take the best out of it and then decide to move on to fresh pastures. So that's the kind of scenario that's happening right now, that's the kind of guidance the cards are trying to give you. So uh, to just be, uh, just learn for you, maybe this is a time for you to uh, explore new projects and new areas and new ventures and they will give you good results also. So don't worry about it, but they are, whatever the changes are happening they are on a very, very subtle level, uh, they have, but then for sure, they're happening for sure, that I can guarantee you, but they're very slow and steady progress. Matters of heart, how are you feeling? You are too busy into a lot of things. You need to just focus into your matters of heart. If you don't focus, then there's no happiness. So you have to focus towards your matters of heart. That will give you benefits and, um, and in fact, uh, bring back the happiness and the romance uh, and romance that you're expecting in that area. Um, in terms of your finances, finances, I would say that uh, because of emotional reasons, there are a lot of financial expenditures happening. So that knee area needs to be... Um, temper with uh, carefully and handle carefully be more practical in your approach that's what the cards are trying to guide you and health is uh, uh, is again very sensitive abdominal areas i see problems in abdominal areas there could be minor problems also because it's not a very strong card which is affecting it but yet nevertheless it does say that you know there could be some abdominal problems that you might face or come across during this week uh, as far as your family is concerned, how you would repair in your family matters, it says that there is happiness, again not to the expected level that you hope to, but overall uh, in general it's overall outlook I've seen and it is good, it is happy, contentment is there, uh, as I said, a little less than expectation, but it is there. Weekends uh, are going to be blessed and again a woman uh, who believes in taking action, I think she uh, does have a arrogant nature but then she's somebody who's really going to help you out by the end of the week. Travels are going to be fruitful. You can go ahead with your travel plans. This is going to be quite an enjoyable week for you. So this was for what was uh, in cards as far as Capricornians are concerned and we move on to the next and sign Aquarius. Uh, and let's see what Aquarians hold for them and Aquarians are people who are generally born in the month of February. Let me see what you are undergoing and I see a lot of blessed uh, events and uh, happenings taking place as far as matters of heart are concerned. 
ऐसे चिल्ड्रन ब्रिंगिंग हैप्पीनेस गुड हार्मोनी इन योर मैरिज दे कुड बी नाइस रिलेशनशिप एरिया यू माइट इवन प्लान अ ट्रिप टू अ नाइस लोकेशन विच कुड बी यू नो क्वाइट हार्मोनियस क्वाइट रोमांटिक फॉर यू बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर करियर एरिया यू हैव टू रियली रियली वर्क आउट यू हैव टू टेप अप योर कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स दैट द एरिया दैट आई सी बिकॉज एंड इफ यू टू केयरलेस इन योर करियर फ्रंट आई डोंट रियली सी एनी रिजल्ट कमिंग इन फॉर यू सी नीड टू push yourself hard and work hard and be very very careful in whatever you deal in with right now and uh, finances how you are going to prepare for financial don't take any major financial decisions during this week whatever effort whatever investments that you make uh, during this week will only give you results in the coming time which is not going to give you benefit to you in this week do uh, i see a lot of growth happening later on but then things are going to be fine for you health wise uh, a lot of improvements during this week now health matters uh, do seem to be changing more positive however uh, as far as your family is concerned there could be problems related to a woman especially her health can be a cause of concern or maybe uh, she's just being too stubborn or she's undergoing some muscular pain the bone aches or gastric problems so the entire concentration is being diverted there and that's the reason there could be issues uh, which are being overlooked upon as far as family is concerned so that is an area you have to balance and then uh, handle things accordingly and uh, if i have to look into your travels then travel some of your travels can be little different disappointing although if you travel with your lovemate that is a blessed area but overall it is better to avoid travel right now and weekends how your weekends are i see my god you are undergoing a lot of insecurities as a week come to an end so there's a lot of emotional turmoil is happening and You just don't know, like you know, where you are right now. How you would like to place uh, yourself to be in the future. The things working out, the two projects or two ideas that are working out, and yet you're not very sure about whether you should take them up or you should just, you know, release them from your system. So this is the thought process that you undergo as the week comes to its close, and then we move on to the last but not the least, sun sign Pisces. Um, Pisces are the people who are born in January in the month of March, and let us see what you are undergoing during this week. and for pisces when i look into them i see a lot of relaxed approach as far as finances are concerned you are very happy and you are very content during this whole time and uh, it's, it's like a blessed uh, time zone for you health also shows improvement by the end of the week things are happening family matters again i see a lot of attention being uh, showered upon you as far as family is concerned professionally again there could be some stress related to an elderly person somebody who has reached a position of strength through his hard work he uh, can be a uh, barrier hindrance in your work growth pattern more because you are probably not listening or you probably not doing the right thing at the right time so you need to improvise upon yourself first that is a part i see communication levels need to be more flexible you need to speak your heart out but then with a lot of calmness and a lot of uh, loving energies first to send a lot of loving energies and then do it then things should work up for you health as i said uh, should be improving and then travels i would not want you to travel during this week because somebody you are relying on too much as far as your travels are concerned might not really be able to fulfill your desires or expectations so there could be some setbacks so don't do it avoid it that's better for you weekends are quite relaxing enjoyable and pleasant so whatever turmoils that you undergoing throughout the week are just waning off by the end of the week so this is for you pisces and this was the entire sun sign segment for libra to pisces for the week 29 july to 4th august 2012 do keep watching our program in uh, nandita pandey one that's our channel in youtube you can also subscribe to it the subscription is free and uh, the advantage is that you would uh, directly be you know uh, kind of whenever we upload our uh, videos you would be directly informed in your emails so at least you will know when our videos are being uploaded and similarly we also look forward to your feedbacks that's one area i really treasure the most whatever uh, feedbacks that you give me because it helps me in working and doing my work more sincerely so this is all about it uh, during this week have a rocking week have a blessed week and stay blessed always atma namaste